I had no idea that I was going to be anything. For all I knew, it was just going to be flashbacks. When I was two years old, I would tell my parents I wanted to be an entertainer. They go, yeah, right, and I go to sleep. Yep, this adorable 14-year-old mullet-wearing kid is Seth Green. By 1988, he was already Hollywood's favorite redhead, having starred in Woody Allen's radio days. Hey, he'll never find out. Besides, I can handle him. But his child stardom began with the commercial circuit. <laughs> you got him, Genie. It was just so awkward. And surprisingly enough, I, I got the job. <laughs> like, how did that happen? But acting wasn't Seth's only job. I skateboard, I draw. I tell jokes, that's fine. God, right now, my mom and all my friends are sitting in the back going, oh my God, he's going to embarrass us. <laughs> Standing up in front of other people and letting them laugh at you is fun because you're entertaining them and you're letting off energy. You know, because if you come onto a set and you're like, boing, 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 tilt, they'll go, this kid can't be professional, get him off. So I let out energy and it's good. Picking my ear on camera. <laughs> I'm not upset that I'm not a regular kid because I really enjoy it. I do, I enjoy what I've gotten, and I'm very proud of what I've gotten. If I was a regular kid, I wouldn't have gotten all this comedy exposure. I'd be, I'd be so hyper in school. They'd be beating me up. All I have to say is thank you, Seth Green, for being a child star gone right. Now go to ET Online and check out all of our amazing flashback videos. <laughs>